Okay, this is your um, 10 minute, uh, let's think of it as coordination and mobility. So this is um, going to be about integrating all of your body, so whole body movement, whole body coordinated movement, um, as well as a little bit of general mobility. So start um, in a comfortable stance, we're going to be standing. Um, probably for the entire time here. So if you want a yoga mat or something under your feet, that's fine. Don't use too much padding, um, so keep it thin if you do use a yoga mat or a blanket. Um, and if you're having struggle with balance, then I would recommend uh, being barefoot and also standing on some kind of a textured surface. So something that has some, uh, some texture to it is gonna help your feet to turn on. It's gonna wake up your feet. That's gonna help you with your balance. So um, go ahead and press pause if you need to set that up. <clears throat> Once you have that set up and you're standing, we're gonna start with just a quick um, body scan. So putting your mind and your feet, feeling this surface of the floor or the blanket or the yoga mat underneath the bottom of your feet. Feeling where your foot is contact with the floor, where your foot is not in contact with the floor. Um, if you were standing in sand, what kind of a shape would your foot make in the sand? And then moving your mind up through your ankles, through the lower leg, the calf and the shin up through the knee joint, up into the thigh, front of the thighs, sides of the thighs, back, through the pelvis, up and into the belly and the low back, starting to work your way up the spine, up and into the rib cage, the diaphragm, the mid back, the chest, the sternum, the upper back, the shoulders, Sending your awareness down the arms, bicep, tricep, elbow joint, forearms, wrists, hands, fingers. And then finishing the body scan by sending your awareness up through your neck, your throat, the back of the skull, the bottom of the jaw, cheeks, <clears throat> sides of the skull, ears, nose, eyes forehead, back of the skull, top of the head. And now just feel all of that at once. So feel your whole body as alive right now. The feeling of the air on your skin, the feeling of the clothes on your skin, the feeling of any food or water that may be in your belly, your heart beating in your chest, your blood moving in your veins, your breath moving in and out of your nose and in and out of your lungs. And all these feelings that come along with being alive. And now start by just shifting your weight from foot to foot. So you shift your weight to your right foot and shift your weight to your left foot. Both feet are on the floor. Don't pick them up yet. Shift the weight. So now most of my weight is over my right foot. And now most of my weight is over my left foot. And now center your weight between both feet equally. And now you're gonna rock forward and rock back. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see this more easily. So you have your weight equal from right to left. Now you rock forward so there's more weight in the front of both feet. And you rock back so there's more weight in the back of both feet. Forward and back. And now you're going to make a small circle. So stand with your feet in the center, your weight in the center of your feet. And now you're going to rock forward and right and back and left. I'm, I keep turning at different angles just so you can see clearly what's going on. You don't need to turn your body. You're simply going to rock forward, rock your weight to the right, back and left. Forward, right, back 
left one more time forward right back left and come back to center and now you're going to go the other way so rock forward rock your weight to the left rock your weight back and rock your weight to the right two more times forward left hang on no cat cat is messing with the camera unacceptable so you're going to rock your weight forward left back and right forward left back and right play around for about 10 or 20 seconds and just move freely so both of your feet are on the floor the whole time you're not picking them up but you are shifting where your weight is on top of your feet it should be pretty clear at this point that although your feet are not moving on the floor where the weight of your body is stacked on top of your feet is continually changing now shift your weight over to your left foot in the middle of your left foot and just very briefly pick your right foot up off the floor and set it back down shift your weight over to your right foot just for a brief second pick your left foot off the floor and put it back down we're going to do this four more times shift your weight to your left foot and just really quick pick your weight take your right foot off the floor and set it back down shift your weight over to your right foot pick your left foot up off the floor really quick and set it back down I'm going to keep doing this as I talk so you're just shifting back and forth and taking tiny little steps and if you lose your balance when you take a tiny little step you can just lift the heel of your foot so you leave your toes on the ground that's totally an option so now I'm just lifting the heel of my foot and I'm leaving my toes on the ground for extra balance or if you feel okay just go ahead and take a tiny step set it back down take a tiny step and set it back down now standing tall on top of your feet close your eyes and open them again and now close your eyes and feel your feet on the floor both feet on the floor not moving your weight is in the middle of your feet and now open your eyes and just let yourself look around orient to where you are in the space see what is in front of you see what is behind you see what's to your left see what's to your right see what's above you see what's below you so you know your surroundings you've seen them now and now just close your eyes know where you are in space you just looked around you you know what all of your surroundings are you know that there's nothing immediately next to you that you're going to bump into do not pick your feet up off the floor but shift your weight from foot to foot shift your weight from right to left just like we did with the eyes open only now your eyes are closed shift your weight from front to back just like we did when the eyes are open only now your eyes are closed and now move in a circle shift your weight to the front to the right to the back and to the left and again to the front to the right to the back and to the left now we're going to reverse that your eyes are still closed shift your weight to the front to the left to the back and to the right to the front to the left to the back and to the right and go ahead center yourself and open the eyes we're going to do that again if at any point during that you feel really uncomfortable or you lose your balance all you need to do is open your eyes and recover settle your weight back equally in between your feet equally front and back you can take a few steps to reset yourself if you want and then try again really feel your feet on the floor the more that you have your mind in your feet the better your balance will be when you close your eyes you don't need to look around you you need to feel your body looking around you helps you when your eyes are open when your eyes are closed it doesn't help you when your eyes are closed you have to feel your body to find your balance settle your weight close your eyes shift your weight to the right 
Shift your weight to the left. Shift your weight to the front. Shift your weight to the back. Again, shift your weight to the right. Feel your right foot on the floor. Shift your weight to the left. Feel your left foot on the floor. Shift your weight to the front. Feel the weight going into the toes on the floor. Shift the weight to the back. Feel the weight going into the heels on the floor. Shift, okay, pause, sorry. very frustrating with housemates sometimes. I apologize. I'm going to have to remake this video at some point, but I'll start you with this one. Anyway, our eyes are closed. Shift the weight in a circle. To the front, to the right, to the back, and left. And front, and right, and back, and left. Put the weight back into the center. Feel both feet on the floor. And now as you shift the weight to the front, feel how the pressure changes in the bottom of your feet. Shift the weight over the left foot. Feel the change. Shift the weight back over the heels. Feel the change. Shift the weight over the right foot. Feel the change. Shift the weight back front. Feel the change. And come back to the center and open your eyes. Nice job. Okay. So, step your left foot in front of your right, your right foot is behind you, your left foot is in front. Put your right hand in front of you, put your left hand slightly behind you. This is called the contralateral position. Your left hand and your left leg is forward, your right hand and your right arm is forward. From here, very, very briefly, you're going to switch your arms and at the same time, you're just going to pick up your right foot very quickly and set it back down behind you. Switch your arms, pick up that foot, and go back. We're going to do that four more times. So we switch our arms and we pick up our right foot. Two. Three. Four. And five. Switch your feet and switch your arms. Left foot steps back. Right foot steps forward. Left hand comes front, right hand comes back. This is the other contralateral position. Our left, no sorry, our right foot and right leg is front. Our left hand and left arm is front. I'm going to pick up my left leg while I switch my arms. One, two, three, four, and five. Switch the feet and switch the arms. We go again. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch the feet and switch the arms. Five, four, three, two, one, switch the feet and switch the arms. Last time, five, four, three, two, one, switch the feet and switch the arms. Five, four, three, two, one. And last thing, because we did some core work earlier today, that means you really created a lot of strength throughout all of this like stability, these stabilizing muscles of the core. We also want to stretch them out a little bit. So we're going to do that for a second. Right hand on the hip, reach your left arm long over you and stretch. And switch. Left hand on the hip, Reaching the right arm up and over. Two. Nice and slow. Three.
You can take a deep breath in when you stretch. Breathe out when you come up. When you breathe in, you should feel the ribs open on the side that you're stretching. Use your breath as a way of deepening the stretch. One more each side. And now we're going to stretch front to back. So you can have the hands on the hips. You're going to tuck your pelvis and round your back and drop your head forward. And then you're going to stick your butt back and open the chest and the head. Round and open. Round and open. Round. Open. Round. Open. Now we're going to add the arms. Bring the arms forward and put the backs of the hands together. Put your thumbs to the outside and reach behind you as if you were trying to put your thumbs together behind you. Back to the hands together. Reach the thumbs towards each other in your back. Two more. And last thing for the torso, take a nice comfortable stance. You're going to let the arms be kind of loose and heavy, so shake your arms out a little bit. You're going to twist to one side, look over that shoulder, and let the arms swing and tap yourself as you twist. So you're going to twist to the right and left, right, left. So your arms are just loose. Feel your feet on the floor as you do this. Don't forget that they are your base of support. Everything that happens above the feet is affected by how your feet are standing on the floor. That's like your foundation and let the movement become smaller and that is your second 10 minute session I apologize for the interruptions in this video uh, there's a bit of a cat moment and a bit of a housemate moment so at some point I will re-record this video and get the new one into your program but for now just uh, try to tune out the interruptions and 